given by the academic institutions. Now, having spoken about DigiLocker and uh, NAT, this uh, will lead us very logically, very organically into what is the topic of discussion today, the Academic Bank of uh, Credits. Now, Academic Bank of Credits uh, is, uh, uh, you know, a, uh, uh, has brought in uh, several changes in terms of learner choices in the landscape of higher education. And this paves way or this leads uh, to, uh, you know, a huge amount of uh, democratic choices for the learner in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of the choices that he or she can make. Uh, in terms of choosing courses, in, in terms of choosing, uh, uh, you know, higher education institutions, uh, and in terms of uh, choosing his or her place of learning. Uh, what is very important here is that this kind of breaks away the boundaries of uh, the physical portals of uh, the existence of higher educational institutions, because a learner is a, uh, a learner is given the freedom to enroll in an academic institution. And then being there or moving out of there, there is a mobility that is possible that is given to a learner uh, in terms of uh, the choice of moving from one uh, higher education institution to another or uh, gaining credits from another academic institution, higher education institution, uh, being in, uh, you know, being stationed in one higher education institution. Um, the idea of credit accumulation that a learner uh, is able to get, you know, is uh, uh, is uh, uh, very important uh, in terms of the uh, initiatives that are brought in by, uh, you know, NEP. And so when a learner is, when a learner is able to or allowed to, allowed to gain credits, um, you know, by uh, uh, enrolling for courses in uh, uh, higher education institutions apart from his, then there has to be a repository, there has to be a bank where the, uh, you know, the credits that a student earns uh, from multiple institutions or even from a single institution can be pooled together. And at the end of the uh, completion of the program, uh, they need to be redeemed. The idea is that there is a uh, there is a space for all the credits to be transferred and stored, and once that is done, uh, the uh, uh, you know student uh, on the completion of the program can have the choice of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, getting his uh, uh, credits transferred and redeemed. Now the vision of uh, uh, ABC uh, is to create a national level facility to provide uh, uh, flexibility of curriculum and interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary academic mobility of students across higher education institutions with appropriate credit transfer mechanisms. Now, very importantly, this breaks the uh, compartmentalization of disciplines because a student can earn credits after completing courses of his or her choice across institutions. So this paves way for interdisciplinarity and multidisciplinarity in terms of uh, the program or in terms of the courses. But very importantly, um, when we talk about uh, academic institutions, you know, more than one academic institutions that a student is able to get his uh, uh, credit from, then the question is, who would be the degree granting institution? And that also uh, has uh, has been uh, taken care of in terms of 50% uh, uh, courses to be done from one institution. Now, this encourages a student to uh, uh, learn the courses of uh, his or her interest. And this is, uh, you know, a very uh, learner friendly uh, teaching space and uh, enables uh, a student to have several uh, choices that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, uh, that is democratically given. Uh, for, uh, uh, you know, a learner-centric uh, education. And this also encourages uh, interdisciplinarity and multidisciplinarity in terms of, uh, um, yeah, in terms of uh, students' learn, uh, uh, learning journey. Now, uh, the functions of uh, ABC are that it is basically a centralized repository, like a bank, you know. It stores a student's academic credit till the completion of uh, the course. And uh, the, uh, you know, uh, it provides a seamless possibility of uh, mobility for uh, a student, um, you know, we, uh, either between higher educations or within degree granting uh, uh, higher educations. Now, one, uh, uh, you know, one, con uh, one aspect that uh, we must uh, understand here is that um, ABC or Academic Bank of Credit 
is not only for mobility or transfer of credits from one higher education institution to another. Uh, it is also important that from the batch uh, 2021 onwards, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, from the new uh, academic year that we are going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, look into or that we are going to face shortly, um, even if it is our own, uh, you know, uh, uh, individual institutions, uh, we must have the ABC and accumulate, uh, uh, you know, all the credits earned by a student within the institution also. So the, uh, the misconception that uh, most of us had, including myself, that ABC is required, uh, importantly, for transfer of credits from one institution to another, is uh, you know is is uh, uh, is broken now because abc is also important for uh, individual institutions where the student uh, would enroll without uh, uh, you know transfer of credits from other institution also so it's a formal system uh, uh, it's a formal system of credit recognition there are four aspects to it one is credit recognition one is credit accumulation and after accumulating of uh, credits you also have credit transfers and finally uh, you know, after transfer of credit from other uh, higher education institutions, on the completion of the program, the student will get his or her credit re redemption. Uh, there is a credit redemption that happens, which indicates the end of that particular learner's uh, uh, journey for that particular program. Now, once the certificates and degrees are collected by students, all the credits are deleted from the accounts. Now, this enables students to open accounts and give multiple options of entry and exit during higher education. Now, one of the uh, for one of the most important aspects of NEP is that uh, the student can choose. Uh, uh, you know, there is a there is a customized pace of learning for students, and a student uh, is allowed to exit uh, courses. And also, uh, uh, you know, enter uh, 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 the uh, entry options are there. So, uh, amidst this multiple options of uh, multiple entry and exit during the journey of higher education for students, um, this accumulation of credits is very important because uh, even when a student has taken a break uh, before his joining, uh, you know, rejoining uh, or making his entry, the ABC is the storekeeper of all the credits so far earned by the student. So an ABC, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, an earned ABC uh, is an authentic reference to check the credit record of any student at any given point of time. And uh, we all understand that uh, the duration uh, uh, or the time duration that is permitted for a student is seven years. So for seven years, the credits earned are to be kept uh, in the ABC, which is an authentic platform. Uh, the uh, uh, academic bank is accountable for opening, closing, and validating uh, the accounts of the student. Uh, only institutions can upload credit certificates, uh, not uh, students. Students can have individual uh, ABC ID numbers, but uh, it is institutions who can upload the uh, certificates. Now, the question why ABC? Like I said, uh, the relevance of ABC is in terms of the learner centricity. Uh, wherein there is a greater flexibility and uh, there is a possibility of customization of uh, education for from the learner's perspective. Uh, there is a greater amount of choice uh, that a learner is, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, learner gets in terms of uh, choosing courses that, uh, that the learner would want to take it and also choosing uh, institutions that the learner would want to uh, be a part of. So uh, there is also a possibility of tailor-made uh, degrees, you know, uh, by for the learner, where the learner makes a choice of uh, specializations uh, uh, that interest him or that uh, uh, that he or she requires. Um, uh, you know, for example, uh, uh, this this is something that we've uh, we've always seen in the West, where there is a uh, there is a great uh, democratic freedom for uh, the learners to uh, to choose programs. Uh, for example, uh, uh, a learner under this can uh, choose, uh, say, a, a program in uh, maths, a course in math. Then he can choose a related course in statistics. And if if his institution or her institution does not, uh, you know, have uh, the related course in, say, statistics, then the learner can, uh, you know, can take up that course in a different uh, higher education institution and earn credits from there. And after having chosen math and a related, uh, you know, uh, stream of statistics, uh, say a, a, a learner is very keen in understanding the mathematics or the grammar of uh, Indian classical music. And uh, 
the institution that he or she is a part of uh, may not have uh, classical music. So this gives the learner a choice to go to institution X, enroll in institution X, and earn credits in classical music. So this is something that, that takes care of the learner interest and also the learner competency and the learner uh, choice. So uh, in terms of putting together, you know, customizing uh, the courses that the learner wants to take uh, for, uh, uh, you know, for a career choice and for a choice in terms of, uh, uh, you know, uh, his or her passion towards something, ABC is actually a blessing for them. Uh, the other important aspect of ABC is that the learner can choose <clears throat> the learner can choose uh, his or her pace of learning, uh, particularly with blended uh, education having, having come in. And uh, we all uh, know the rate of dropouts in the sphere of higher education. Um, the blended education, blended learning, uh, you know, actually gives a platform for the work, uh, you know, and learn uh, uh, package to come to, to happen together. So a learner need not discontinue for varied reasons. Uh, if uh, the learner is forced to take up a job, you know, uh, then this, uh, 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 you know, this ABC and the related NEP ensures that the learner continues his uh, uh, journey of learning without taking a break from education. Uh, in terms of blended learning, it helps because uh, the learning can continue uh, on a virtual platform while uh, uh, he or she can continue with work. And this ensures that the student dropout is lower and there is an enhanced chance of uh, employability. Uh, employing, uh, employability does not restrict the learning process here. So earlier in the conventional system, what used to happen was either you have a job or you have, uh, you know, you continue with your education. We've had several students, you know, from, uh, uh, from very unfortunate backgrounds where, for example, at uh, the loss of uh, uh, of the father, you know, the, on the expiry of the father, the job is given to the uh, student, but then uh, the student is unable to continue uh, the education and complete the degree because there is, a, uh, you know, there is a circumstance, trying circumstance that, uh, uh, that uh, you know, that forces the child to take up uh, the job. But in this particular case, uh, uh, you know, with ABC, uh, I'm, I'm just giving an example where uh, in such a scenario, the student need not think of giving up his uh, or her learning. The learning process can continue parallelly with the uh, job that he takes. So that's the biggest advantage in terms of choosing a pace of learning that ABC brings in. And of course, uh, this gives provision to multiple entry and exit uh, uh, for the student, irrespective of the circumstances, and allows the student to complete the course at the individual pace. So it's a very customized pace of learning that you're talking about. And uh, uh, this also allows horizontal mobility of students across HEIs. So uh, you know, the student can enroll uh, uh, in multiple HEIs to choose courses of uh, choice and then complete them. Uh, this also brings in, uh, you know, a desired learning outcome because what happens is uh, nothing can restrict uh, uh, the learnability factor as far as a child is concerned. And this particularly now uh, in, a, in a very interesting, uh, uh, you know, uh, talk on ABC implementation of ABC by uh, the Honorable uh, Chairman of uh, UGC. Uh, he was making a reference because uh, there, there is always this apprehension in higher education institutions that, uh, you know, horizontal mobility would mean that the students would, uh, you know, students' mobility would mean uh, uh, issues regarding uh, the uh, admissions and loss of admissions and things like that. But uh, what is very important uh, here in ABC is that uh, ABC is important for the institution, uh, 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 you know, institutions, uh, credits, uh, uh, accumulation also. And the kind of, uh, uh, you know, horizontal mobility between higher education institutions uh, is, uh, you know, is, is a very small number. And this caters to that small number of advanced learners, you know, learners with enhanced creativity and critical thinking abilities, higher order skills, where sometimes very often we feel that uh, a, a typical classroom or a typical, uh, you know, conventional uh, educational uh, learning space rather. Uh, can become very uh, limiting for advanced learners. So this is particularly a boon for advanced learners where a child 
uh, can enroll in multiple uh, higher education inst institutions and earn credits um, you know uh, uh, that 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 uh, kind of uh, provide uh, uh, you know food for his or her uh, enhanced uh, critical thinking. Uh, this also uh, gives uh, way to institutional collaboration and partnerships because there can be very healthy uh, uh, you know learning platforms that can that can be uh, you know that can be given on a, a collaborative model between institutions and it paves way for a, a very healthy uh, uh, you know learning space for the uh, student uh, there are diverse options that are available and this also uh, caters to uh, you know online education which ugc allows in terms of the 40% and it is the uh, uh, you know in the online uh, uh, options that are beneficial for the student um, uh, as far as abc is concerned because all the credits thus earned can be uh, you know accumulated in a common uh, platform and uh, the national credit framework is uh, the one that kind of uh, fixes credits for each milestone and uh, that can that actually brings in the kind of standardization of credit framework that is required uh, for abc to uh, you know to function better because what happens is when there is an option of choosing uh, you know courses across institutions there needs to be some kind of a, a common playing field, you know, a common platform, a standardized credit frame, framework. And that is provided by the national credit framework, wherein uh, the student and the uh, academic institutions will have certain parameters in terms of, uh, uh, you know, in terms of the uh, courses across, uh, 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 across various uh, institutions and disciplines. So that, uh, you know, kind of standardizes uh, the entire uh, process of uh, ABC.